Have you ever wondered how the vast universe that we call home came into existence? What events transpired that led to the creation of our reality? Scientists say that it all started with the Big Bang, a sudden explosion of nothingness that kicked off a cosmic journey of more than 13.8 billion years. But how did this event happen? What caused this tremendous expansion that has led us to today? Let's take a closer look. To truly grasp the essence of the Big Bang, it's essential to understand that it wasn't a conventional explosion and didn't occur within any existing entity. Let's imagine a journey back to the very dawn of time, akin to peeling the layers of an ancient cosmic onion. At the very core of this celestial onion lies the beginning of the universe. Consider this, if we were to trace the cosmic clock backward, humanity's entire history would pass by in a mere blink, vanishing long before a heartbeat could occur. Picture the first flickers of life appearing on Earth nearly an hour into this cosmic rewind. After seven hours, the formation of Earth and our solar system would unfold on this grand cosmic canvas. Yet, the true marvel lies in the anticipation building over the next 16 hours. What we're eagerly awaiting is a monumental event, often playfully dubbed the Big Bang. Ironically, this significant happening given its name in jest by a staunch critic of Sir Fred Hoyle's theory at the University of Cambridge, is somewhat misnamed. It wasn't an explosion in the traditional sense. It was an expansion, a breathtaking inflation of space and time. An explosion, as we commonly understand it, involves a shockwave resulting from the sudden separation of high-pressure and low-pressure gases. However, during the early stages of the Big Bang, the universe was nothing short of awe-inspiring compression. All its mass and energy were condensed into a singular, mind-bogglingly dense point, far smaller than an atom, even tinier than subatomic particles. Imagine it as an incredibly minuscule cosmic seed. Additionally, this tiny seed was incredibly hot reaching an astounding 1,989 million degrees Fahrenheit. This scorching state, termed the cosmic egg by Belgian astronomer Georges Lemaitre, marked the genesis of our expansive and awe-inspiring universe. Considering the passage of time, the universe underwent a remarkable journey from its initial infinitesimal point to its vast current size. Scientists, factoring in the expansion rate and temperature, deduced that the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old. The Big Bang Theory, in essence, goes beyond a mere explanation of how a minuscule entity expanded. It delves into the transformation of this tiny object into the immense energetic sphere we now perceive. As this colossal energy expanded and cooled, various states of matter energy, and even the fundamental forces of nature emerged. This process mirrors the transformation of steam cooling into water and then solidifying into ice. Scientists posit that during the very first moments of the Big Bang, the universe contained only a singular form of energy. However, this state of equilibrium didn't last. The universe became unstable. Within a mere 10 to 35 seconds, its volume expanded by an astounding 1070 orders of magnitude, at a speed surpassing even the swiftness of light. Scientists refer to this brief yet intense phase of expansion as cosmic inflation. Although the universe expanded to a mere few cubic meters in volume during this time, it proved sufficient for primordial matter to form. This occurred from the released energy, shaping a soup of subatomic particles known as quarks. Approximately 100,000 years after the Big Bang, light managed to separate from matter, casting the universe into 300 million years of profound darkness. Then, after 380,000 years, 
atoms began to form, releasing a significant amount of energy. The remnants of this event are what we now detect as cosmic microwave background radiation, a faint echo of the universe's early days. The emergence of the first stars marked the end of the cosmic dark ages. Their formation and integration into gravitationally bound systems laid the foundation for galaxies, including our very own Milky Way. Our understanding of the events during and after the Big Bang is quite comprehensive, with a few gaps. Yet, if we attempt to peel the cosmic onion even further, to unveil what triggered the destabilization of the original ball of energy, and what, if anything, existed before it, we venture into a realm of profound uncertainty. Scientists exploring these questions have encountered an unexplainable problem that is termed the singularity. This represents the primary state of the universe. The intriguing aspect here is that time and space as we comprehend them came into existence only after the Big Bang. Before that moment, neither time nor space, nor the concepts of cause and effect, nor even the notion of a before existed. Cosmologists find themselves grappling with the enigma of the singularity, attempting various methods to navigate around this perplexing concept. Consequently, there are varying perspectives on the origins of the universe. Some accept the notion that the universe simply emerged from nothingness, a result of random fluctuations where particles spontaneously materialized from a vacuum. However, opponents of this theory pose it that the universe might have existed before the Big Bang, although the specifics remain elusive. It's conceivable that this pre-Big Bang universe resembled ours or was something entirely distinct. The details, however, remain shrouded in mystery, leaving room for speculation about the events leading up to the Big Bang. An alternative hypothesis suggests a collision between two brains of different universes, culminating in the Big Bang. But why limit the possibilities to just two universes, argue proponents of the metaverse or multiverse theory? They contend that during its formation, the nascent universe expanded immensely, giving rise to bubbles from which diverse universes sprouted. If this holds true, our world is merely one among countless others, akin to how our Milky Way is just one of myriad galaxies. Furthermore, some researchers propose that the universe might be eternal, with Big Bangs countered by significant compressions collapsing the universe back into a singularity. Notably, calculations by renowned physicists Stephen Hawking and Roger Penrose have shown that the Big Bang eludes complete understanding within the framework of classical cosmology, such as Einstein's theory of relativity. Hey, spacers! Before we jump headfirst into the theories of the Big Bang, take a breath and click the subscribe button and click the bell button to be notified of new and awesome space content. And now, back to the beginning of it all. Within a singularity, the laws governing the universe are confined to the realms of quantum mechanics. Here, particles exist in a state of diffuse wave, moving in all conceivable ways. This means the universe could have an infinite number of prehistories, an endless array of potential states. In this liminal space, devoid of an external observer, the universe exists in a quantum state, hanging in a delicate balance. The narrative of our universe, as per current understanding, begins at a point where temperature, energy density and the curvature of space-time were extraordinarily high. From this state, the universe commenced its expansion, adhering to the principles of the inflationary model. This expansion, initiated in the distant past, persists to this very day, shaping the cosmos as we know it. In 2019, Kareem Ahmed, an assistant professor of the Department of Mechanics and Aerospace Engineering at the University of Central Florida, introduced a novel perspective. He drew an analogy between the birth of our universe 
and the cataclysmic explosion of a supernova. The distinction between these events lies primarily in their vastly divergent scales. In the context of supernovae, specifically type 1a explosions, carbon and oxygen within a star's core compress to an astounding density of approximately 16,667 tons per cubic inch, or around 1,000 tons per cubic centimeter. In the star's core, these elements undergo rapid thermonuclear reactions, leading to a colossal explosion. Within seconds, the star is obliterated and most of its mass is ejected into space. Remarkably, the energy released in this explosion equals the total energy emitted by the star over its entire lifetime. What remains of the star is a shell, a blend of various gases and substances. This scenario poses a puzzle. Typical detonation or combustion requires walls or obstacles to contain the explosion. Stars lack these constraints, making the nature of their detonations a baffling enigma. A team of scientists led by Kareem has developed a groundbreaking theory, shedding light on this enigmatic process. According to their findings, a massive flame intensified by turbulence has the potential to accelerate and eventually explode independently. These researchers successfully replicated a similar event in a laboratory setting, leveraging the power of the most advanced supercomputers available. Through controlled experiments in a shock tube, they induced turbulence, transforming a passive flame into an active one. At the culmination of the experiment, a powerful explosion occurred, akin to a miniature version of the Big Bang. It's impossible to definitively confirm that this event precisely mirrors the Big Bang. As we lack the ability to journey back in time and observe the exact conditions that catalyzed the original reaction. However, these results have significant implications. They not only deepen our understanding of the universe's age, but also have practical applications, particularly in the realm of hypersonic engines and the modernized production of electricity. What do you think? Will physicists ever solve the mystery of this singularity? Please let us know in the comments below. Thank you for spacing out with us fellow spacers. Please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell for notification of new and awesome space content.